Well, okay, is Libro incredible? Mr. Triple Threat Sidestep Swizzag. Listen, this is about 2K14. And before I get into that, listen, I posted a video a couple hours ago. I would appreciate it if you guys went and looked at it. It's the first round of the playoff against the Memphis Grizzlies, a live commentary. I put a lot of time and effort into it. Um, can you guys please just go over there, drop a like and a comment? Thanks a lot. So let's get into this shit, man. Um, yo, like, honestly, I, w I posted the trailer and I was like, and I posted the soundtrack, you know what I mean? When it dropped or whatever, I was real psyched, excited about it and everything. You know, when I seen the first trailer with LeBron, I jumped, I'm like, yes, this jump gonna be live, dog. You know what I'm saying? So more, it's like, the time goes on and on and on and shit. Like, shout out to my nigga Body Bag. He was saying some real shit on this video that I checked out earlier. But um, I just want to talk about the stuff that I've seen lately and the shit that they just posted with the new signature sales. Like, come on with the bullshit, man. Like, the last trailer that they put out, like, a couple days ago for 2K14, am I lying or am i telling the truth when i say that shit looks just like nba 2k13 i told my friend that like the other day when i first seen it, he was like yo i'll wait till october first for your opinion to change listen it's not gonna change because that shit looks the same it what they added a couple animations it looks the same you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna knock the game i'm just sick of the bullshit like yo i'm gonna buy it because i love basketball and i need to play a basketball game and 2k i mean nba live 14 is for next gen so when i get my ps4 you never know i might buy live i don't know but i'm not a 2k guy i just got 2k the last 2k that i had besides besides 2k 13 was when Allen Iverson was on the cover, that was a long time ago. PlayStation Two days, so this, so ever since then, I always been a live guy. Since live was on fucking, um, what system was that shit on? PlayStation One, like I was always into live. Two K wasn't even out then, you know. Two K came out, I think, with Dreamcast, if I am mistaken. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, um, let's just get into this, man. We already know when it comes out. We got the, the new signature skill, pick and roll maestro, a ball handler who excels at orchestrating the pick and roll as the point man in a pick and roll immediately following a screen. This player receives a 3% boost to his shooting attribute and is more accurate than most when passing the screener. Come on, like that shit right there is a given. This should already be in the game. Like when people run the pick and roll, that's just like common sense. Then you got the screen outlet which is pretty much the uh, a player who excels as the receiver in the pick and roll and pop game basically the screener you know what i'm saying like this all should be in the game already like i feel like this should have just already just like you know what i mean the pick and roll should the ai for the the ai for the computer on your team should be already aware of how to do this you shouldn't need a signature skill for these people to execute these type of moves so i'm already i'm already not feeling it i'm already not feeling it man like real stuff like just after watching that trailer i'm just like yo are these niggas serious man i told my man like my man like yo i said yo this don't look like 2k13 man they just look like they just added some stuff in it man like you can't you can't lie and say it doesn't look the same you if you think that 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 trailer looks different then you is i don't know what you smoking on man you just you tripping you don't want to see it but you know i'm going to get the game because i need i love to play basketball basketball is what it is i mean it took me a minute to even buy 2K13. Yo, like I was playing NBA Live 09. That's how bad I like I miss basketball. I was still playing that game. You know what I mean? So it was just it was kind of crazy because I, I would play I played that for let me see NBA Live 09 came out well I guess in 08 right. So I was waiting for them to make a live 10 they didn't make it uh they had the nba elite when they changed the name I'm like why did they change the name they had changed the name they bought the demo out i believe i didn't know if, i can't remember if i played the demo or not but um i know that they was broken and they didn't want to bring it out so after that i just got tired i said man i'm tired of waiting for games so that was back in 2010 when they, when they were supposed to bring out elite 11 so that's just not not to be off topic let's get back into these signature skills so then they got a new signature skill called flashy passer this player is known for accurate flashy passes when throwing a flashy pass, the penalty the penalty enforced will be reduced by up to 60%. Like, come on. I mean, the the like the the passing in the passing in last game was so broken, like the people would just 
I, the people would just jump out of nowhere like they would superman intercept you or superman knock the ball down like it was just crazy like but i don't know i'm gonna probably toy you with that like i don't think i'm gonna really use that because you know i do my own thing i don't really 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 you know really care about the flashy passing and stuff like that so then they got the pick and roll i mean the pick dodger um hold on let me see what else they got on this y'all let me see all right the pick dodger a player that does not get caught up on screens very easily he counters the brick wall signature skill and um just this just, just by them saying counter you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to. It's basically supposed to negate the brick wall. But I'm seeing some. I'm hoping that there's no broken signature skills like 2K13 was, yo. Cause lockdown defender is broken, broken. You know what I'm saying? Like that John was supposed to counter every offensive signature skills. That's what it says. It says it neutralizes your opponent's offensive ability. Basically, that's what it says. Basically. I mean and so many little words whatever so like like you guys know Kevin Martin let's just this is somebody this is just somebody that, that I'm just sticking recently I just played recently just just popped in my head Kevin Martin oh let's just Monte Ellis too Kevin Martin Monte Ellis neither one of them guys oh we could do OJ Mayo too all three of them guys neither one of them guys have dead eye on neither one of them have dead eye on okay so lockdown defender is basically supposed to neutralize their offense abilities so with that being said each time you guys can see it yourself for me when i'm sticking uh kevin martin you know what i mean you can see it in my upcoming videos or whatever you can see when i'm sticking him i'm in his face i'm i'm uh contesting very tightly everything he still nails down shots which means I mean, I'm not saying that he shouldn't make none of his shots. No, don't get me wrong. But Kevin Martin, if I have him locked in the fit and I'm playing tight defense and I'm in his grill, Kevin Martin shouldn't be seven for seven with about I don't know. Seven for seven. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't be that. You know what I mean? So I'm looking at it like, hold on, that doesn't even make sense. You know what I mean? So then you got um let's go into this you got another one called one man fast break a player known for his ability to take the ball coast to coast on fast break speed quickness and ball handling attributes are boosted by six points yeah i mean come on man that's just i don't know if to me to be honest it's just it just seems like a stupid signature skill pointless that they put in the game you know what i mean i think i think they could have you know went more into detail with that you know what i mean and I think they could have just I don't know I I'm, wasn't I wasn't I didn't have a big deal or a big problem with the signature skills from last game I just thought that most of them were broken so if you guys could have fixed that and you know added some new basically useful skills but like you know the pick and roll maestro and the screen outlet those are like that's just like you know taking up an extra spot on your um taking up an extra spot on your signature skill list because you only can have five so you know if you you gotta run pick and, pick and roll maestro just to do a good pick and roll just doesn't seem right to me you know what i mean they gotta get that computer ai right you know what i'm saying so the computer is knowledgeable about running the pick and roll and how to do the pick and roll you shouldn't need a signature skill for that this is just my opinion you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to bash the game or nothing like that i just feel like a lot of stuff like when i first seen the trailer it was yo that that trailer had to be for next gen or pc or something because that trailer when it first dropped with lebron shit was out of this world and now you see the trailer that's for this gen that they just released it a couple days ago or one day last week that shit looks the same exact yo same game matter of fact that lebron james in the trailer that they just posted the other day looked just like the lebron james in 2k13 know what i'm saying it just it's crazy but i just felt like yo you know what i'm saying even though i posted a video earlier that i would love for you guys to check out i just like yo after i seen this video um i think shakedown posted it and somebody posted it i just seen it in my sub i said yo i gotta look at this shit i gotta go in on it man I, I if it's some bullshit i gotta go in on it you know what i'm saying but i don't even think i'm gonna get i probably will get um nba live 14 on next gen you know what i'm saying because it's for next gen so whenever i buy my ps4 because i'm not even rushing to get it you know what i'm saying but whenever i buy my ps4 i think i will um get 2k and well i'll have 2k for ps3 so i'm gonna I'm be able to play that on ps4 so it's cool i think i'll just probably end up grabbing live 
but you know what I mean if they come out when they bring out the next gen stuff you know what I mean and what it's supposed to look like and you know so on and so on I mean if that shit looks great oh yo yo I will be on it you know what I'm saying but just looking at the PC version of NBA 2K13 it looks so much better than that last 2K14 trailer like it's the PC mods is yo out this world this shit is is incredible for real for real you know what I'm saying but um look you guys can weigh in on what I'm talking about and what y'all think about it if y'all think it's BS I mean I'm not I'm not doing no NBA live 14 2K14 war or trying to compare it to nothing like that. but I'm just saying like it's kind of crazy and then look let's just let's just let's just go back real quick um this scrapper see i felt like they just took a note out of call of duty book with that shit you know what i mean because the guy just said they split up scrapper into now you got scrapper and then you got tenacious rebounder so they just took one signature skill split it up and made another one i'm like hold up that shit that shit do seem like some call of duty shit body back <laughs> for real man because like that's what they did from modern warfare 3 to black ops 2 in modern warfare 3 you had sleight of hand which was you aim down your sight faster and you reload your gun faster right now we go to the next call of duty which is black ops 2 they split sleight of hand up now you have quick draw which is to aim down your sights faster and then you have fast mags which is to reload faster i'm like hold up that's some bs and that's the same thing with blind eye and haywire they split and well i think ghost i think all that was combined and cold blood i think all that was like combined into one perk split that thing up into like four different perks they split up um yeah they split was it was it called assassin on model warfare 3 they split that up into four different perks that's crazy so i feel like they just they i feel like they took a, a note out of their book but you know damn i ain't even to make i didn't even mean to make a 10 minute fucking video talking about this shit man but um look rate comment and subscribe follow me on twitter instagram all that good shit you know links will be in the description i'm out of here